exactly you said in the encyclopedia. I will. I will take a moment. <coughs> I am terribly sorry. Yesterday, you said in the NCCOG report that you have concerns with what the committee had done. Can you outline what those concerns are? Well, I think one of the things that we have seen over the past uh, past number of years is a number of reports, a number of of. I'm. <coughs> I am terribly sorry. I will. I will take a moment. At least Doug Ford swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> Over the past number of years, uh, Canada has brought in uh, a significant number of measures and um, institutions and programs uh, to counter foreign interference, from the creation of the National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians uh, to a strengthened uh, National Security Oversight Agency uh, to uh, elections monitoring by top uh, public servants uh, and specific focus on democracy and elections by our intelligence uh, communities. We've also had uh, now two different uh, public uh, inquiries into it, one from the Special Rapporteur, one an ongoing uh, foreign interference inquiry. All of those elements together uh, are contributing to a fuller picture that Canadians have and all of us have on the reality of foreign interference by many different countries into our democracy as are happening around the world. Um, many of those conclusions and reports are varied in the conclusions they draw in the uh, level of, uh, of um, assumptions and conclusions they make around what they say. Uh, the government has already highlighted there are a number of uh, the conclusions of the National Security and, uh, and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians report uh, that we uh, don't entirely align with and that actually is uh, demonstrated by the fact that you know two party leaders both Elizabeth May and Jigmeet Singh who uh, read the, that report uh, in its entirety come to differing conclusions on the interpretation of what it means. That demonstrates that there is uh, a, a certain amount of responsibility that party leaders have uh, to engage with this, which highlights that the decision by the Conservative leader and the leader of the official opposition to not get a security clearance, to not choose to even read the unredacted report before uh, engaging in political attacks and, and uh, uh, oversimplifications uh, is not responsible leadership. So we're going to continue to engage in a responsible way on this very, very important issue and we thank and support the work done by uh, NSICOP, uh, even though some of the conclusions, as was highlighted by Minister LeBlanc, are not conclusions that we draw based on the actual evidence and intelligence that was received. But can you right, yes. Canada Russian open Russian now Russian to putting military trainers in Ukraine? Can you be clear on this point? Um, we have uh, always uh, been there to support Ukraine with what it needs. Uh, we are uh, delivering uh, light armored vehicles as we speak that Ukraine uh, is in need of. Uh, and we continue uh, to do training in uh, many different locations. Uh, this is something that we will continue to be there for Ukraine on. Last question. Calling these peace talks seems any overly, last question. Calling these peace summits seems overly optimistic. Thank you very much, everyone. Not